Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and you guys know what time it is. Time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And numerous people have linked me, and I mean everywhere on all my social media. They're like Jason. Eric Trinevsky has come out and admitted he's not natural. As if that should even be news to anyone, and I'm actually going to take his side on that. Uh, but let me throw you guys an invitation before we get started. Hey everybody, it's Eric Trinevsky here. The most optimal person in history. I have this voice because I've been using three grams a year since I was 17 years old. At the age of 23, I look like I'm 45. All right. Let me go ahead and put on my plus five how to speech craft and let's talk about this. Now, up front, um, I'm still going to give Eric a hard time because he honestly is way too young to be blasting the amount of gear that he uses. And let's come back over to the point. Um, I've had numerous people even say if he was really using what you claim, then why don't you put up screenshots from back in the day? I have already. I've already put up the screenshots. It's pretty common knowledge among all the Facebook steroid group circles and coaches that Eric was blasting two, three grams a year in high school. Okay, he was in all those circles. So when Eric does say that he has done his research and that he really does know about gear, uh, he, he's actually being honest because we were in all the same groups. All the same coaches, all the same athletes were talking about their drug stacks and what they were doing like six years ago, five years ago. And he was in the middle of all those groups with a lot of really, really good coaches, some of whom had PhDs and stuff. Okay, you guys got to keep that in mind. He actually was in those circles listening. And yeah, the knowledge base in some of those groups is a hell of a lot better than what you're going to see on forums. Now, that being said, uh, Eric brought up a point and people were like, wow, what a douche, how's he going to make fun of people? In all honesty, he should be making fun of people. And I'm going to throw a little tip to Eric. I'm going to take your side on that, but you're not going to like what else I have to say because it's come over to the point. When you claim that it was really obvious that I was trolling, that doesn't work very well on the internet. I'm just saying, speaking from experience personally, when you make a big goofy troll that should be obvious that you were trolling... To the point of ridiculousness, people still get offended and they send death threats and fake bombs and shit to your house. Okay, just just been my personal experience that that won't work with people. That that cop out doesn't work, even if it's obvious that you were, because it was obvious you were trolling. Like no reasonable person with an IQ over 70 who's over the age of 16 actually thought you were trying to be convincing. Like no one actually believed you're natural. Uh, no reasonable person who's ever lifted weights for more than six weeks in their life who's over the age of 16 who isn't mentally retarded actually thought that you were natural. Um, and, and that's a good point that he makes is that he pointed that out is that, quite frankly to him, he's actually literally offended. He's actually offended if someone even suggests that. If someone over the age of 16 asks if he's natural, um, that he actually takes that as an insult. Uh, because realistically, again, as he pointed out, Single-digit body fat, 240 pounds. Uh, he, again, as he said, is so far beyond the possibility of being natural that it shouldn't even be in question. Like, this is not even a category of someone who you should ever even ask, is there any possibility? Let's go back and reel those numbers in. If you stripped 20 pounds of muscle off of him right now, just removed it, 20 pounds of muscle faded, he is still beyond what any reasonable person who knows anything about training would even ask if, if he's natural. Okay? That's how far above the even possible theoretical threshold he is. That if he lost 20 pounds of muscle, it still wouldn't be reasonable to even ask the question. It would, it would actually make you really, really stupid or really ignorant or really naive to even ask at that point. Okay? Um, so it's really sad because I've actually seen some of his fans come through and go, oh, I really believed he was natural and they're acting hurt. I'm like, wow. Uh, I mean, what can you say to that? Like, what can you say to someone who's really and truly that naive? He's actually right. So any of his followers who actually didn't realize he was trolling, um, damn, damn. <laughs> I mean, again, he, he's, he's accurate in that. Those people should be made fun of. I mean, I mean, seriously. Again, if you're 15 years old, I get it. Okay, different. But, but guys, he's, he's a ripped 240 pounds, okay? Even 20 pounds less on him, you still shouldn't have to ask. Come back over to the point. Um, he also pointed out, though, that one of the things that he hates, and, and that is what we're seeing, is this whole transparency in the industry. And here's what I'm going to call him on that, too. Eric, 
because everyone's being transparent and brave all of a sudden, you know that's why you're kind of just stepping up and saying it. Even though you were trolling and no reasonable person believed it, you also know it's in the safe era to talk about it, right? It's in the safe era to talk about it because all these tiny guys are geared geared up. All these tiny dudes are even saying, yeah, man, I'm using gear. Like Cassidy Campbell, Kenny K.O. I don't know, Kenny K.O. is not really that tiny at this point. Uh, but Cassidy Campbell, okay. Brandon Harding, he's not even that big. Blasted tons of gear, right? All these guys are coming out with it, and everyone's, oh, it's so brave. Um, but he does bring up a point. None of them know what they're doing, and, and I will agree with that. Even though I might tell Eric, he uses way too much, was using way too much stuff when younger. He is hurting his health. Uh, he does at least probably know the basics. Again, he's been in the right circles. He's talked to the right people. He does know how to do it. Uh, I said a lot of his training is horrifically bad, other stuff like that. He doesn't have the genetics and he doesn't have the training to pull off what he's trying to do. I'm sure his, his stacks are actually pretty optimal. Like, you know, the joking aside, most optimal in history, his stacks are probably pretty optimal for his goals. The problem is his training and his genetics are. That's what gets him. I'm sure his, his stacks are, are probably well thought out, that they're going to be a lot because you don't get to his size playing around. And that's the point that we need to come over to with all of that. You, you do not get to his size dabbling your foot in the water. Let's put it that way. That's not 500 milligrams of test, guys, okay? Um, most of you guys out there, I'm just going to be honest, a lot of you guys would struggle to get to my size on 500 milligrams of test, let alone Eric's size. And we got to be realistic here. Eric has 30 pounds of muscle on me. All right? Perspective. So, um, when he says that these guys who are coming out literally don't know anything. They, they don't. Um, guys like the Brandon Harding, I call him. Brandon Harding doesn't know anything about drugs. Like, his drug stack was stupid and scary, and he had all these problems. Uh, the over-reliance on ancillaries, all these guys thinking they need 37 ancillaries, running these crazy, need six different DHT-based substances. And then, again, if you guys are on almost no test at all, thinking they need to mega dose uh, aromatase inhibitors, and wow. Um, just, just, just a little pro tip there, guys. Nine out of ten guys who are running low test, who are stacking it with a DHT-based drug, shouldn't take any form of that. You can control it all at zero. Um, back it probably is a bad idea at that point. Unless you want to start tearing tendons and have your dick not work and all sorts of other problems, then, you know, by all means, carry on. Uh, but that's unhealthy. That inhibits your progress. That inhibits your gains. All right? You control estrogen by controlling the wet compounds in your stack. You can change ratios around by messing with some of the DHT-based stuff to where you don't even need aromatase inhibitors. Unless you have blood work confirming that you do or you're getting serious sides. Um, by the way, Decadic's not real either. That's make-believe. Decadic is actually usually caused by guys doing really stupid stacks who are running too many aromatase inhibitors. It's, it's not the Deca that even causes it. There's no evidence of that. And plenty of guys run Deca only or Deca and Debol only or low test and Deca. And guess what? They have sex just fine. All the time been done for decades. This is a modern silly phenomenon came out of forums from guys who abuse aromatase inhibitors. Uh, so I mean just kind of coming over to the point is that uh, he, he is right on that. Most of these clowns, a lot of the forums, they, they really don't know anything about gear. There are no real coaches in there. There's no real experts in there. It's just a bunch of dudes giving their anecdote and their silly ass theories who've never coached a serious athlete, have never been around serious athletes, They've never talked to serious coaches. Um, they've never been in those circles to actually hear what they have to say or what they literally do have their people do. So it is a problem. It is a problem. And I do know for a fact, because we were in similar circles, that Eric has had conversations with people who really do know what they're doing. Um, so the problem you have, though, is that everyone's coming out and being brave and they're putting out what they're doing. And they, re they really are stupid. Like, literally, these guys who are putting out their stacks and their bravery are literal morons who actually haven't discussed any of this stuff with real coaches or experts. You can tell that they got their silly-ass info off of a forum. It's bad. It's wrong. I mean, perfect example. Go back to it. If you think Deca Dick is real, you got bad information. This is a perfect example. It's just not real. 
I mean, it, but that's the sort of stuff they talk about. The sort of stuff they talk about. Um, and again, it's all about, seems to be about abusing aromatase inhibitors and, and all sorts of nonsense, guys. It's full of bullshit. And he is right on that. And I will give Eric credit for being right on that. But that being said, do I still think Eric has dramatically shortened his life? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'm sticking by that because that is true. He's used way too much stuff way too early in his life. And he is going to pay a price for it. And that's my opinion. We'll wait and see what happens. But the point we come over to him admitting that he was on, it shouldn't really be a surprise, guys. It, it was hopefully, obviously trolling to anybody. And if you didn't realize he was literally trolling and it wasn't believable, I just don't have words for it. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.